like, hey, everybody, let's go outside. Oh, over the intercom, he's like, let's go outside. The eclipse is starting in a few minutes. everyone welcome back to the channel it's your boy fish brandon collins today we are yet again reacting to some more yesco okay he released another video regarding the solar eclipse and more government secrets and we're gonna watch that today because i love watching spooky stuff when it has to do with government conspiracies aliens because uh, the whole world's going fucking crazy, so we have to get to the bottom of it, okay? So, comment down below. Do you believe that there is a government conspiracy? Do you believe that there is alien life out there? Comment that down below. Alright guys, let's get into this. Wait, wait, wait. Before you get into the video, let me talk to you about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by MAGA Rats. We have all been through hard times in the past few years. The shaming, the fear of expressing our mind. It makes you question what it means to be an American. Some people break during hard times. Some people are made by hard times. These trials and tribulations define you. Your adversity is the badge of honor. We are survivors of hard times. And we're going to bring in the good times. They called us MAGA rats. We took their insult and turned it into a symbol of pride that we have the courage to express our minds. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. This isn't about the left or the right. This isn't political. This is about being an American and expressing your mind. If you are made by hard times, you're right where you belong. If this message speaks to you, head on over to magarats.com and use coupon code EAGLEPASS in the checkout for free shipping off of your first order. If this message speaks to you, help support Magarats today. Thank you very much. Now let's get back into the video. Warning. Solar eclipse. Mass panic. Government secrets exposed. Insane UFO videos. Alien conspiracies. The 2024 solar eclipse has so many strange and scary conspiracies and theories surrounding it that it's driving so many people into a state of mass panic. Now, at the time of me recording this, it is the night before the April 8th solar eclipse. And at the time you're watching, it's probably the day of the solar eclipse. And in the morning, I will be traveling to an area of... And the day you're watching this video is the day after the solar eclipse. <laughs> totality, and I will be investigating the April 8th, 2024 solar eclipse. I really just want to see for myself whether or not these conspiracies and theories are true. It's no doubt that there's been many strange and unexplainable things that have happened in the past couple of days and weeks that has people really confused and more so believing these conspiracies and theories than anything else. For example, five days ago, lightning struck the Statue of Liberty. Oh. Two days later, New York and New Jersey were hit by a whopping 4.8 earthquake the strongest quake since 1783. A lot of people are correlating this 4.8 earthquake to April 8th, <laughs> as in the solar eclipse of when it's happening, but yeah, there's more. This solar eclipse is being treated far differently than any other solar eclipse in history. They're telling everyone to be prepared for outages and as well to stock up on food for at least two weeks. Emergency officials are now warning people to stock up on food, water, and fuel ahead of the solar eclipse. If you didn't know already, the solar eclipse is happening on April the 8th, so it's just a couple weeks away. Officials are also now warning of widespread cell phone disruption ahead of the solar <laughs> eclipse if the other one wasn't enough. Cell phone 
Long-term coverage may be a challenge that day. While we are surging resources uh, in terms of additional coverage, and while we are um, basically expanding the bandwidth that 911 could use, it is possible that, that cell phones get a bit overloaded. If that happens, remember that 911 will continue to work. 911 works even when our cell phone grid is overloaded, but only use 911 for true emergencies. Essex County, New York's Board of Supervisors has preemptively declared a state of emergency ahead of Monday's total solar <laughs> eclipse. This is the same solar eclipse that National Guards are being deployed for. NASA as well has confirmed that they will be sending three rockets into the Earth's ionosphere during the solar eclipse. Not only that, but the Devil's Comet will also be visible during the solar eclipse. CERN has also stated that they will be testing the world's most powerful particle accelerator during April's solar eclipse to search for invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. The Federal Emergency Management Agency has already told people in the areas where the eclipse will affect to have at least two weeks worth of food and water. They have also also warned of cell phone outages, extreme weather, amongst many other things. <laughs> there have also been many UFO sightings recently, and experts have stated that on April 8th, during the solar eclipse, there will be a massive influx of UFO sightings. Which is another red flag, by the way, because during the solar eclipse, there will be a no-fly measure. No aircraft will be able to be flown, at least legally, during this time. The red flags are definitely there, and if they're not subtle, then they're literally thrown into our faces like this. Something to have lived through this, the strongest earthquake in 140 years, John. Look at all of that, and it's not over yet because we've got the eclipse earthquake coming up on Monday. As Deborah Ross was telling us, it's going to be a transformative experience for anybody who is in the area of totality. <laughs> It's things like that that drive people into a mass state of panic. And you factor in everything else that's happened in the past couple of days and weeks, and yeah, you got a lot of people preparing for the end of times, uh, apocalypse, the worst. And then you get into the more religious side of things where biblically this is going to happen and that's going to happen, and I don't really want to go too far into that, more so just because I'm uneducated on the subject and I really don't know. Well, if you have any sort of theories and stuff, comment them down below. Are we just going to witness a solar eclipse or is there something far darker approaching? Now, millions are expected to travel to areas of totality during the solar eclipse, me being one of them. I'm actually headed up towards Syracuse, maybe even Rochester, New York, just to make sure that I am going to be 100% in totality. And uh, I want to investigate this. I guess we're just going to have to see for ourselves. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the morning. We'll talk all things game plan and really discuss exactly what I plan to do during the solar eclipse. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already so you don't miss any of my future content regarding topics like this. So yeah, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Honestly, I'm pretty excited. I have no idea what to expect, but we'll show you guys everything in the morning. So what do you guys think he's going to find? It's Yasko, so he can find anything. It's possible. Okay, it's very possible he could find anything. What do you think he's going to find? Comment that down below before we get further into the video. I don't want you to cheat. I want you to just comment down below right now. I'll wait. Are you fucking done yet? Hurry up. Jeez, you're such a slow typer. Yeah, you know what? I'm not waiting on you. All right, guys. So it's officially the day of the eclipse, and we're getting everything ready. So packed the car, packed everything we needed, and I actually wasn't exactly sure where to go to experience the solar eclipse. We were thinking Buffalo, New York, Rochester, New York, but honestly, I have a really cool spot. I haven't even told my brother yet who's actually coming with me, but um, it's oh, gonna- Hold up one second. What, is it? what does your shirt say? Hello darkness, my old friend. Doesn't that fire? This guy. Yeah. I think we deserve a like on this video just for the shirt. That is a pretty um, sweet shirt. You can't come with us because they don't make glasses to fit your eyes, so. That's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, these are kind of weird. Uh, it's my first time ever using these, obviously, because the last time the total solar eclipse was in the US was, I don't know, everyone has like a different date. Someone said 375 years ago. Someone's like, we had one in 2017. I don't know. But when I put these on, legit, you can't see a damn thing. It's just completely blacked out. So I'm a- no, I, uh, There was one in 2017, I believe, actually, because I remember watching an eclipse uh it was the day of the eclipse i was at work my manager 
I was working at Walmart at the time, and my manager was like, hey, everybody, let's go outside uh, over the intercom. He's like, let's go outside. The eclipse is starting in a few minutes. So everybody got to go watch the eclipse. There was nobody in the store, no customers, nothing. There was nobody even at the store shopping because this was an event that nobody wanted to miss. And we all had our special glasses and we watched it from the parking lot of Walmart. It was pretty cool. I mean, it wasn't like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life, but it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I, I remember it very fondly, and uh, it, it was fun. It was fun, nice to, you know, get 20 minutes off of uh, not having to do anything. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know, were you guys there at the 2017 eclipse what did you see did you see any aliens ufos i didn't see nothing of course i live in an area where aliens probably do not hit whatsoever even though i do have a cool story that i'm not going to share in this video about something i may have saw that was ufo related uh, a few years back but uh that's for a totally different video but uh, let's continue on with this with this video. Assuming when you have them on, you're looking at the eclipse, you could like see the outline of it like that. But let me see if I, oh yeah, like you can't see shit. Um, so I got a couple of those um, just because they're really flimsy. And if I'm going to look up there, I really don't want to lose my vision. Um, and also another very important thing is experts are saying, I think even NASA mentioned it, that you're not supposed to point your cameras up towards the eclipse when it's happening. Not even your phone cameras, because it could damage the sensors and everything involving it. So I have my old phone here. This is an iPhone 11 Pro, I think, whatever. Um, I was gonna say, I'm gonna sacrifice this one and kind of just record everything with this. And if it shits the bed, oh well. Um, hopefully I could at least airdrop it to my other phone, my computer, and you know, have it in the video. So I'm not gonna be pointing this camera up at it. This is my, my baby, I cannot point this camera up at the eclipse. So with that being said, um, let's go head out towards this really cool location. I think you're really gonna like it. I know you guys will like it too. And when we get there, I wanna talk about some of the theories and conspiracies surrounding this because I actually did upload a eclipse video about three days ago now. And some of the things you guys have commented are really interesting and I really do wanna cover it. So with that being said, see you guys in a couple of hours when we reach our destination. All right guys, so this is actually a path that we're gonna take to get to the location where we're gonna check out this solar eclipse. It's interesting, but yeah, it'll be worth it, I promise. Now, on the way here, we saw a lot of emergency like power vehicles heading towards this direction um, on the throughway, which was kind of like a, huh. But we do know that they were saying to be prepared for any sort of outages and severe weather drops and all sorts of crazy things, cell phone outages. So it could be related to that. I don't know. Um, my brother was like, imagine all the Teslas on the highway just completely stop. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we'll probably see you guys once we get a little bit closer. Still got about 10, 15 minutes of walking to do so. And I also wore Crocs. So, yeah, see you guys. Smart. All right, guys. So, we've reached where we are going to view the solar eclipse from. So, this is an abandoned quarry, and there's actually quite a lot of people here. One bad factor into everything is if you look up, it's pretty cloudy. I don't know how much that'll play a part in everything. Barring that we are in totality, I think we should be fine. I think we'll still see everything how we should. But um, I just got a text message not too long ago that's... Mm, it's, it's, not, it's not good. And I, I wanted to check this live with you guys. So it says, urgent recall. Public urged not to use a specific type of solar eclipse glasses. The recalled glasses, which were sold on Amazon and in stores, are labeled with EN ISO 12312-1. If you have them, don't use them to watch the eclipse. Now, I just want to put it in perspective. When I wanted to go buy these sunglasses, because I was like, okay, I'm going to do a video. Every gas station, every corner store had them, but they were all sold out. So I went on Amazon, and they had these. They were like five bucks a pop. And I was like, all right, can't beat that. You know, prime shipping, whatever. Uh, so I got them. And let's take a look where we can find this. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So, look, 12312, ISO 12312-2. 12, oh, we got the dash two. We should be fine, right? We should be fine? I don't know how it works, but it's not dash one, so. <laughs> um, maybe I'll do a little bit more research. You want to hold this for just a second? 
Let me just see, because we're about 30 minutes away from totality. You see anything? Can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God. Um, can't see anything. But maybe it's just because it hasn't begun yet. Or maybe these just don't work. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> but uh, regardless, let's get all set up and whatnot. And uh, we'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. So yeah, guys, uh, as you can see, it's pretty damn cloudy. Um, but we can actually see, if I do zoom in quite a bit, it is almost completely covered. Mm -hmm. So in just a couple of minutes, we're going to be able to see it. Uh, the full totality solar eclipse. I'm pretty excited. That's I'm pretty not going to lie to you. Um, this is wild. Now, although it's super cloudy, we were told that we were going to get pretty clear skies for today. And then God was like, let's just give them a bunch of clouds and rain on their parade. Um, but it, it's definitely gotten darker. It's definitely gotten a lot cooler in the past, like, 20, 30 minutes. So, hmm. whew, it's kind of exciting, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I remember when the eclipse actually happened in, in my town, um, back when I was working at Walmart. Uh, I remember the moment it happened, the temperatures dropped. It was so crazy. It got it got kind of cold outside on a nice warm day. It was crazy. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think I was probably wearing, uh, I was probably wearing shorts or something. I, I don't know. I forget if uh, Walmart was allowing us to wear shorts or not. I was, I, I just remember I was cold. I wasn't wearing a jacket, so, but like, yeah, I remember the temperatures dropped. Um, but... Just a couple more minutes now. I should probably... <laughs> Dude, the eye doctors are making so much money. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, it got so dark. It's crazy. It's 3 p.m. It's 3 p.m., man. It almost looks like it's, what? It's the sun's, like, about to set, basically. It's crazy. Do you see it or no? No. It must be covered by the clouds, but this is crazy, man. I understand why people are like, oh, yeah, has some sort of end of the world type of feeling. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You see anything on your phone or no? I'm trying not to look at my phone and, you know. Oh, yeah, you probably should. Oh, yeah, you have your glasses on. You should be fine. <sighs> okay. Wow, bro, it's so dark. This is crazy. Like, it's darker in real life than it is on camera. Right? Really? In camera, it's... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's crazy well, dark. That's a good nighttime camera, but like this is just, this is actually crazy. Whoa, but it's getting dark. Yeah, really dark. Holy crap. Wow. It's dark. It's 3 p.m. and it's <laughs> so damn dark out. It's eclipse time. This is crazy. I can barely see you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. That's wild. Like, even though we may not see it in its full potential, you know, with clear skies and stuff, this is an experience. Like, I just want to show you guys real quick. This is a horrifying. Literally looks like nighttime. What the hell was that sound? That was almost like a trumpet sound from, like, the sky. <laughs> you heard that, right? I think they heard it, too. That's why they're freaking out. What the hell was that? I wonder if I was to use the film from the glasses with the phone if it would be better that way. Oh, I see it. Bro. Nice. Oh, I see it too. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's brightening up. Here's some dogs freaking out over there, too. I think, it's, I think it is brightening up, no? I think we survived. Woohoo! You survived! That's gunshots. No, that, that's actual gunshots. <laughs> All 
All right. Yeah, it's drastically getting brighter now. I do know some people that will be in clear sky locations that will send me some footage, maybe even find some online. I'll, just to show you guys what it would look like if there were no clouds versus how we had an experience with it completely covered. So <laughs> this was absolutely insane. And I still have my vision. <laughs> we survived. Now, when we do get back to the car, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my laptop and we're going to see if there's any strange conspiracies and theories already popping up on the internet surrounding this entire solar eclipse topic. Because beforehand, there was a bunch. And mm -hmm. I can only imagine that after it, people might be losing their minds. So oh, let's yeah. take a look. All right, guys, so we just got back to the car and I opened up social media and there are so many tweets, posts, videos about all things UFOs, conspiracies, and everything. Now, I'm going to do another video solely on this after more and more stuff comes out, but I want to take a look at some of these because right here I have this video that Meerkat uploaded. It says, confirmed UFO sighting during the eclipse, <clears throat> pulsing lights flying next to the eclipse and disappeared seconds after the recording. Guys, that's a UFO. That's definitely a UFO. Okay, I'm an idiot because I initially thought that like orange light was the eclipse mm -hmm. because it's like the only glowing thing in the sky. But that's something hovering, flying in the skies during the eclipse, which, as you guys know, no flight measures during so. And uh, I don't know, that, that one's a little strange. But let's take a look at some of the other ones people have captured as well. This photo was also posted and says, is that a UFO I caught during the eclipse today? And I mean, like, what, what do you even, like, what can you even say that is? It's so dark in these photos too. It's crazy to see, like especially areas that were so cloudy. Um, it was just like us. It looks like it's pitch black at 3:32 p.m. It's crazy. But no, that that's. I mean, I I don't know. It, to me, that definitely looks like a UFO. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Then this photo right here was posted by Great Locker Room Guys. Says after the eclipse got buried by the clouds, I saw a UFO in its place. It could have been a very high drone or possibly a balloon, but it's definitely unidentified, flying in an object, and I've ruled out birds. The second one at the top, I didn't notice until after I took the photo. So let me zoom in a bit. And so here's the thing about it being drones. Unless that's like some sort of like military grade drone, something that massive, you wouldn't see it be that big in the skies. Because I have a couple of drones myself, and when I send them up sometimes, I have no idea where the hell they are. Now, not only that, but if people were warned not to use like their cameras in direct, you know, position of the solar eclipse, why would you send out drones that cost thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of dollars? So that's quite a red flag to me as well. But I want to hear what you guys have to think about this and, and everything in general. Now, I am going to be covering this a lot more in a future video. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of my future uploads regarding these sort of topics. Scrolling through social media right now, there are a lot of posts in regards to people believing that the government has a lot of things to do with cover-ups, secrets, and all sorts of just shady things uh, during the solar eclipse. And I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but a lot of people do believe that because if there are some unidentified foreign objects in the sky and people are wondering what it is, maybe it's not aliens, maybe it's the government. Well, what is the mm. government doing? So that's what a lot of people are conspiring on the internet. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As for everything else, honestly, pretty crazy experience. Um, pretty cool. Um, I'm alive, so that's great. But um, if you guys have had any strange experiences or anything that you've caught on camera uh, during the solar eclipse, please send it to me. Uh, link me down in the comment section below or send a link to my email. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, with all that being said, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Same here, guys. If you guys experienced anything crazy during the eclipse, I want to know. Link, link it down below. Send me an email. My email is right here. BrandonCollins921 at gmail.com. That is my personal email. And you're more than welcome to send me an email right now with uh, photo evidence, video evidence of something cool that happened during the eclipse. Or if you have any actual alien, UFO, government, conspiracy type evidence. 
Send me that crap. <laughs> Send me it right now. Because I want to react to it. But uh, what are your guys' thoughts? Did anything crazy happen? The world's still alive, so uh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. The eclipse happened. It's over. Won't get another one probably for another few years. Or so. I don't know. We'll see. But that's all I have to say. That's all I have to react to for this video. Well, thank you for watching the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and to click that bell so you can stay up to date when I upload. If you want to support the channel, we have a merch store. If you can't afford our merch, we have a cash app. Send us a dollar or two. Anything helps. It is very much appreciated. Thank you. All right, guys. Remember to stay comical and classy. Take care.